Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new exciting episode of Alan Wake for this terrifying Thursday. Welcome back my fellow aficionados of the macabre. My fellow fans of the freaky and terrifying. I am your host Callan Hale. We are picking up right where we left off. Still on our way to Mirror Peak at the end of this episode. We're going to check through our transcripts. So sit back, close those blinds, relax and turn out those lights, throw in your headphones to really set the mood, grab your favorite beverage, grab your favorite snack, and let's get into the action, shall we? Hope you are all doing well. I'm recording this on Sunday and it is very cold outside. Please stay warm. Do a bit of investigation. Be ready for an attack by the darkness. Nope. I'm going to keep the shotgun for any big guys that come at me if the flare gun doesn't drop them. Whoa! Crap! Drop a flare! Drop the flare! There we go. Gotta be more careful. The darkness is hunting me. All right, I'm going the right way. Where'd he go? Get in the lake. Cauldron Lake. Rickety Bridge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. Okay, this time we're not going to die. When that guy shows up, first thing we do, drop a flare, switch over to the shotgun. No, oh, oh, flare gun.
Okay. That a manuscript page? Yes, it is. All right. Not sure what kind of walked into. That's someone who enjoys writing. I would hate to be drawn into one of my own stories. Or one of my own TTRPG campaigns for that matter. Miss you, Tom. 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 C H. Tom. You'll talk to me on TV, Tom. I miss you, Tom. Why did you write this, Tom? Tom. 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 I curse you, Thomas Zane. This must have been what that little hint was about earlier. But I don't see any writing down here. Flares. Where's the big guy? It seems the closer I get to something doesn't want me here.
Cross the mountain runes. See Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Tamir Peak. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. That had to hurt. I mean, just ow. That must, you must be talking to the, about the old lady from the diner. All right, for some reason my microphone was acting up there. I'm gonna let this play. Unless it, it glitched and I had to fix my mic. Hmm. Okay, I had to skip it. supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. We are on episode four now. Schizophrenia. Bastard. 
It's okay, Alan. Just let go. This doesn't look like a clinic to me. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. I, I see I don't know so sure I'm calm I get the message loud and clear why right that's the spirit you're being very brave Alan I understand your confusion I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me I don't blame you for it big of you now why don't you come with me we'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten a little walk and some fresh air Yes. All right. Let's see what his motives are. Wake. I mean, that's what his wife wanted him to see, a doctor. Anderson. I don't mean to get to find out my weapons again. And get all my flares back. That's a pretty good game. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't Well, Alice is missing. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scene. Which you're right is affecting reality. She has been kidnapped. The supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Don't be this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the two Unless we fight the facts in the I mean I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you've concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. That's a pretty hourglass, or not hourglass, a sundial. Beyond the shadows you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. TZ, memory of dear friend and poet. Thomas Zane. That would be really pretty. Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see near a peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. Mm. This way, follow me. 
following, following. it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of I the illness. Talk. Hartman eyes the wall of his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. I dug my nails into the palms of my hands to stay focused. need to work with you. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let go in time. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. Hmm. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress, I'm happy to say. He works on elbow video. Yeah. It's trash, yeah. of course, yeah. but how he does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. <laughs> no kidding. inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. A clue. I love those statues when they're carved out of wood. Because wood carvers with chainsaws just do such an awesome job. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy or, and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative process. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. See, I, I tell people that a lot. I'm a certified counselor. I tell people... You could have just like a, a really slow period or a down. It does not mean that you're not a good creator. Maybe you got to switch it up a bit like I do. I, I was originally just all horror all the time and I burned out on it. Anderson bro. 
brothers, Odin and Tor, they had a, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for. Night Springs. I'm afraid that the world is I'm so sorry to cut this short, but for now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel like to it, return to your room. <clears throat> it is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world <clears throat> like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's an insane thing I've heard in a while. Oh, the manuscript page. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy. Oh. The Andersons made more sense. We're going. Moon beams on the brain. On the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost his own. Baba Yaga got to him too. The damn witch. She used us all. Taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ring. What was. What were they? Memory and okay that is where we're gonna wrap and check our manuscript pages uh, do the nightingale and the majestic so this grimy room at the majestic the local motel nightingale could feel the locals eyes on him the unrelenting pressure of their judgment he forced it out of his mind for all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Maud stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. 
Lightning flashed behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. And that is where we are going to wrap this episode of Alan Wake, folks. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below, as well as share with your friends on social media. Let them know what we're doing on over here so we can uh, help the channel grow. We're working on reaching 200 for some sort of giveaway. As always, I've been your host, Callan Hale. I want to thank everybody for joining me on this New Year's. For Alan Wake, we're going to be doing this every Wednesday, every Wednesday, uh, for the foreseeable future. If uh, you would like to see me play any other kind of games, let me know down below, or just reply to one of my uh, community posts. As always, please make sure to hydrate, medicate if you have to. Eat some good food. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. And in 2024, don't let your dreams just be dreams. Make your dreams a reality. I believe in you, and I know others do as well. So until the next episode of Alan Wake, this is Callan Hale and Alan Wake, signing off.